When you think of insects, you might think of creepy crawlies infesting your home. But not all insects are pests. In fact, many insects are beneficial and actually kill pests. These natural enemies of pests are predators or parasitoids that make their living by attacking various stages of other insects, and as a result, are beneficial to you and me. Researchers studying an invasive pest from Asia, the brown marmorated stink bug, are facing a dilemma. This smelly bug is a nuisance to homeowners and is wreaking havoc across the mid-Atlantic region, inserting its straw-like mouthparts into luscious fruits and vegetables and causing major economic losses. To better understand if our native natural enemies are starting to eat this pest, researchers have been placing eggs of BMSB in crops and waiting to see what happens. It was expected that parasitoids would attack the stink bug's eggs, but contrary to expectations, researchers have been noticing damage apart from parasitoids. This may be caused by another natural enemy, the predators. We've embarked on a case of entomological whodunit. Think CSI meets Bill Nye. In the lab, we photograph egg masses before allowing predators to feed, and then take photographs afterwards to document the damage caused by predator groups. This catalogue of photos will be helpful to ascribe certain types of egg damage we see in the field to specific predator groups and allow us to quantify the impact of native predators on BMSB. Here are some highlights. It turns out that the way that a predator eats its dinner is important for the fate of an egg mass. Some predators, such as jumping spiders, will completely remove an egg mass from the substrate, invert it, and eat the eggs individually, slowly sucking the fluids out of the egg, with many eggs remaining afterwards. Other predators, such as earwigs, are voracious and will mostly devour an egg mass, leaving only small fragments of egg shells, but still in the restricted area of the original egg mass. The damage caused to an egg mass, number of eggs affected, and pattern of fragmentation can all suggest a specific predator group. This information can be used by other researchers to get a better idea of the good work our native predators are doing to help control the invasive BMSB. Ultimately, we hope this research will allow us to identify key predator groups so we can bolster these natural enemies in the field, and in the end, stop the stink bug invasion.